OS X phone freak here. Um, I figured that I show you um, how I got this wallpaper with my name on it and you know the awesome designs. If you couldn't already tell, I made it with this website right here, x3studios.com. Um, they automatically put that in there. You can't really do anything about that unless you want to go into some serious editing. So you just um, basically just Google, uh, search make your own wallpaper. That should be the first thing that comes up, uh, wallpapers.x3studios.com. Link will be in the description. And uh, when you first come to it, and uh, actually I think every time you come to it, it gives you um, a short little intro here. I've already seen it. So I'm just going to click skip intro. Now, I'm not going to get too advanced into this. I'm just going to show you basically how I made my wallpaper. Um, you come down here to the bottom, click create your own wallpaper. And then I just chose, what is it, the seventh one. Um, I already know all the features. It's very, very simple. You have over here the default backgrounds. You can just click on them and it'll change. Alright, pretty easy. Here you have an element library. You can just click on something or you can click and drag on something and it gives it to you. You can drag it around, change the size. I usually don't put those in, at least for right now I don't put those in. Um, if you want to delete something just right click um, and then you hit delete second, or uh, delete the element. And they have quite a few elements that you can throw in there, some pretty nice ones. Um, they also, if you didn't notice on the page before this, they have a library of user created ones, so you can just click on those and look at the ones people, other people have made. Alrighty, this is going to be how you're going to throw text in there. It's very easy. Choose your font from a drop down menu. I uh, just used the very first one, which is Armalite. And you just type what you want, and it appears right in front of you. Change the color, that's also easy. Come down here and just click on what the color you want to be. You can keep clicking to find yours. I just used white, so I just clicked up there towards the top. And if you just want to move it around a little bit, can uh, increase the size like I did, move it around. You can also, even though you can see you can't go very far with this scroll bar right here, you can actually use this navigator right here to scroll down to the bottom, the right, the top right, and the top left. I just threw my, um, my YouTube username right here in the top right hand corner. And that's basically all I did to make my background. Um, then what I proceed to do is I scroll down here and I hit download. I chose 1024 by 768. It doesn't really matter which one you choose. I recommend just choosing, um, I honestly recommend choosing that one and you'll see why in just a minute. And then I'm just going to throw it in my uh, desktop here. I already have a couple of wallpapers, so I'm just going to name it Wallpaper 3. I'm going to save it. shouldn't take too long to download, considering it's just a wallpaper and a, and a piece of text. Alright. And then it's going to appear right here, as you can see. Um, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to Finder here. And then I'm going to click and drag it into your Pictures folder. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to System Preferences. And you're going to go to Desktop and Screensaver. And um, it, you, should, you should come up here. You like the default wallpapers will be here. Um, Apple Images and stuff. You're going to want to come down to Pictures folder. It should already be there. And just click on the very first one. It should be the newest one. Now you're going to be like, hey, wait a minute. Why is it sort of up here in my toolbar? What's going on? 
Well, you can fix that by just clicking on here and clicking stretch to fill screen. And that's why I said earlier, it doesn't really matter what size you choose and that I recommend that you choose that one is because you can always change it here in the desktop and screen saver preferences as to what you want it to be. Um, I just used stretch to fill a screen. And um, yeah, that's basically all you need to know for making your own wallpaper. This has been OSX Phone Freak. If you like this video, rate and comment and subscribe.